Hi, my name is Alex and I'm an electronics technician on board HMS Newcastle. We're not exactly electricians. Electricians are a little bit different. When people think about electricians, they think about wiring a house and maybe like uh, outlets and stuff. With the electronics technician, there is uh, branches that you can uh, get into and specialize in one of them. So you've got your weapons, right, which is uh, responsible for all weapon system on board. Uh, you've got your communications, which is responsible for all communications. For example, uh, you specialize in satellite communications. You've got your systems as well. Uh, they're responsible for uh, all sensory equipment. For example, your radars, your navigational radar, air search radar, and your sonar. That's, uh, that's what you want to get into if you want to fire off missiles. The s rate is pretty cool. This is the great thing about being an electronics technician because you're actually a fire control officer as well if you choose to do, go down that path. So you can actually uh, look at a radar screen, interpret the uh, target, targets and also we, we're the ones who actually shoot the targets down so that's pretty cool. Well actually I'm doing engineering through the Navy so I'll still be in the Navy. Uh, once you've got some experience as a sailor then you can nominate yourself to change over to a commissioned officer and uh, they, they actually put you through uni, uh, pay for everything, pay for all your books, pay for all your uh, research projects and um, Basically, all they ask for is the same amount of time you spent in uni to give back to the Navy. So it's a very good deal, which, which I'm taking them up on. And uh, yeah, that's how I'll be getting my engineering degree. Electronics technician um, on board a, any ship, basically, is, is a kind of job you get paid for what you know, not uh, how hard you work. So basically, as long as you, do, you keep on top of your plan maintenance and your corrective maintenance, the rest of the time is pretty much yours, whereas other uh, rates they actually have to do a lot, a lot of physical tasks, and like they have to work a lot harder. And we, we, we have the best pay in the navy uh, of all the sailors, and we do a lot less. It's a very good career for progression because uh, you just keep bu building up your skills, and uh, you get more training as you go on. Doesn't matter what your rank is, you keep getting training all the time. Basically, you either stay with the Navy for the rest of your career, which is a, which is a pretty good option because you keep learning and building on your skills, uh, or you can leave the Navy with all the skills you've gained, which is uh, excellent compared to the outside world.